Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI video and in this video I want to show you this tutorial which is how to compare one category with all other categories in the Power BI chart. So for example if you have let's say 10 categories but for example you want to compare the let's say category number 6 with rest of the other categories then how you can compare in a visual way in a chart. And uh, that's I will show you very quickly how you can do that with the help of the inbuilt features of the Power BI. Otherwise, you may have to write a complex calculation to do that. So before I do that, just a quick information that this sheet, which is a Google Live sheet, is present in the description. Here you can come search uh, any tutorial, you know, or, or go tutorial one by one or create your own learning path from these tutorials and jump onto the video using the links present in the column B. So this is just to help you in case you want to know more, more and more about the Power BI. And since this is a live sheet, all of my future videos will always will be present here and uh, it will keep updating automatically for you. So you can bookmark this and keep it in your Power BI learning repository. All right, with that, let's go to Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI and you can see a very simple chart is present where you have the sales on various different months, right? Let's say you want to compare the sales of August with the rest of the other categories. Now to create this, you will obviously start thinking, oh, how would I isolate the August 6 in a measure and then put this measure over here and then compare it, right? But what... Uh, Power BI has done, they have built a lot of inbuilt measures, what we call quick measure. So we need to come over here on the measure, either here, or you will see the quick measure is present here as well. So I've, that's, I think, the most easiest way because we can define on which particular measure we are trying to create a quick measure. So from here, we click on the new quick measure. And down there, you will see a lot of different calculation. And the calculation in this case, what you need to basically um, use is the filtered value. It will not be like a comparison or something. Uh, that's why I wanted to show you that using the filtered value, what it will allow you that it will first tell you, okay, what is the category? So category is the month or the filter is a month. And the value is the August. And you click OK. And as you can see, you can select any of the one which you like. So click OK. Now it is doing a processing, as you can see, working on it. And now you have the August as a category. So over here, if you see, this is the August 159. And this is basically 159. And August is basically being compared with the rest of the other categories. Since we have the sales, so the sales bar is here. August value is here. And the August bar is here. That basically helps you uh, in those uh, scenarios where your user may be expecting that uh, in a chart they want to see a comparison of categories with a specific category. Let's say maybe August is let's say one of those months which is of user interest and they want to compare this month with the rest of the month. So that's mainly I wanted to show you. And as you can see this uh, quick measure is now present here, sales for August. And over there, you will see the formula that Power BI has written behind it. So sales for August is the name of the measure. Then under the calculate, you have the sum of order sales. And then this is the orders in the month August. That means you can actually specify multiple months as well since it is an in. And then uh, the all function to get the all month. So that's basically a Power BI calculation that has been written behind it, but you don't really have to worry. You will just have to come here, select here, new measure, and, and select the option which is relevant. All right, so that's about it. And now I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.